Hey you guys, so it's Kiyosha. I'm back for another spring cleaning video. If you are loving my spring cleaning series, please consider subscribing. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And without further ado, let's just get into today's video. Okay you guys, I think this is the seventh installment of my spring cleaning series for 2020. I'm super excited. I'm almost finished with my house. I have like three rooms left after this. I think something like that but anyway um, we are going to do the kitchen today you guys know my kitchen is huge <laughs> and I have lots of stuff in here so I really want to downsize like my plates my cups and stuff like that the kids don't like to wash dishes I don't like to wash dishes the dishwasher is broken so I'm about to limit I'm about to limit everybody about to get one plate one bowl like I'm just over it I'm really am. I'm like I'm gonna be real ruthless today when I go to this kitchen shit like I'm ruthless more ruthless than I was when I first did this so I am over it I'm tired of cleaning up this fucking kitchen I'm actually tired of cleaning up a lots of shit that don't belong in here so as you can see as time progressed in this spring cleaning series I'm gonna get more and more ruthless I have a feeling so just get ready for me to be throwing all types of shit away but we are going to clean the kitchen today we're going to get it as clean and as beautiful as possible in the state that it's in you guys know i can't wait to renovate my kitchen but this probably will be one of the last and most expensive projects in the house so yeah we just going to wait on that renovation unfortunately but one day right we can hope so yeah so let's just get to clean it i think i'm going to start with the pantry first the pantry has not been cleaned out in a while and I know I need to get rid of stuff organized and do with everything. So let's just go ahead and go on to the pantry and get started with that. definitely gonna do one shelf at a time so let me get my cleaning water and stuff together and I'll be right back
with the kitchen it is currently 6 30 so it took me almost all day to finish this kitchen i know it looks like it always looks when i clean it up but it's more about what is behind the cabinet so i'm gonna show you this is still the same we just keep our garbage bags right there my little picnic basket and some ziploc bags a kitchen timer and some glitter spray paint don't ask me why i need glitter spray paint uh, so I switched up my area over here. Now I have all of my tea mugs and stuff over there. I have all of my like stuff that I like that I tell the kids that they cannot have. Do not eat it. It's mine. <laughs> Cabinet. And then in this one, I just have all of my lunch ones. So that way it won't bog up theirs. And then just some little random stuff that I need. And then up there I have more cups and mugs and stuff. Okay, and then in this one I have our like bigger utensils, aluminum foil up there, and some extra little like measuring cups. And then in this one I have some paper plates and cups that were left over. Our utensil with some plastic ones that we had left over. And the reason why I put my utensils and stuff over here is because my drawers are broken and it's getting on my nerves, so I'm not being bothered. Have some bread and some chips, and then that is some... Um, I can't remember some kind of flour I some reason I um, what you call it blended it for some reason to make something anyway so here uh -oh. down here I have like my extra teapots um, food processor down here I have some more like decorative stuff like you use at Christmas and stuff so that's what's down here just stuff I'm definitely gonna use but not on a regular basis over here I have some alcohol, some wine, <laughs> some extra utensils, and then I have my crock pot and a vase down there. And then I believe these two are empty, just like I wanted them to be. And then you guys saw I did the pantry. So the pantry is all in order now. Everything is grouped alike. And then I have extra like bags down here when you take your lunch and some charcoal and stuff down there and some oil and then over here you guys saw me clear this out just have my toaster and my can opener here and then everything else 
is empty. And then I have my, uh, what you call it? Microwave right there. And then this area now is empty. I cleared everything out of it and cleaned it out. Super excited about that. And then up above here is all of those like fancy glassware that I never use. I just put them up there so I guess they could be on display a little bit. Then I have like some little, my scissors up here, cleaned up there, my little plant that's trying to be alive <laughs> and some more stuff. And of course I have my fridge. I did not clean out my fridge you guys because I had already cleaned it out. One finna do it again. So this is the fridge. And then over here, you know, the dishwasher is broken. That's why we didn't go in the dishwasher. And then over here, I have some more like decorative, like special plates and stuff. My grandmother gave me those as a wedding gift, so I keep those. Never used them. Probably used them out twice, but I'm keeping them. Then all of like my stemware is here, like for wine and all the other kind of stuff. And then I am currently, I washed the windows. You guys saw I'm currently soaking my sink in bleach so I can clean it organize this so plates and bowls and like suit things and then some tupperware random tupperware up there that we may need and then up here we I have some bowls and some bunt pans and a sifter when i make cakes and i have my taco plates right there the best investment i ever made at aldi <laughs> some more tupperware and all of the tupperware lids go in here that way we can find them and then in here at the top i have like all of those little cups you take with you that have like the straws and stuff in it some measuring cups and then down here is the new glassware that i've had for a while that i completely forgot about until i cleaned out the kitchen and so i put them up for the kids to use hopefully they won't break them all but yeah then i have a random something over there so yeah so that's my new glassware it's really actually pretty hopefully they won't you know tear it up or whatever we shall see and then i have my toaster oven and then you saw the stove cleaned it all out this is where i keep all of my cleaning products cleaned out the oven looks good that little mat really saved me the whole oven is clean because of that mat then down here you guys know is nothing it's just this extra skillet with a like galvanized tray i cleaned all of that out so yep nothing under there and then down here, I just reorganized my pots and pans and stuff so that the kids could um, put them all down here for cooking. So if you guys enjoyed this kitchen spring clean, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you're loving the series so far. I hope it's motivating and helping everybody get ready for spring and summer, even though we are quarantined and locked up in the house. Be productive, clean up if you need to clean up. I mean, this took me all day, therefore, I only had an inkling of a couple of times that I was saying that I was bored, but then I remember I had to finish cleaning the kitchen and I wasn't bored them all. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>